Hey everybody, it's the test lead, and today's video is about the software development lifecycle explained. In the tech world, every application should go through the proper cycle from it being conceived as an idea to it actually reaching the end users for use. This video will briefly explain the proper process. Please note, depending on the methodology used, either agile or waterfall, the steps may slightly differ. These are the seven steps that will be covered in today's video. Planning, requirement analysis, design, development, testing, deployment, and operations and maintenance. Also, please note the full transcripts of everything I'm talking about in this video will be linked in the description box below. The first step is planning. The planning stage is where the application concept is first brought to the project team. In this planning stage, the project leaders will evaluate the scope of the project. They should also clearly define a purpose of the application as being developed. This will help make the steps to follow have a seamless transition process. Resource allocation and capacity planning should also take place during this step. The output for this step is full project plans, estimated costs, and high level requirements. The next step is requirements analysis. The requirements analysis stage is where everything that is needed for the application to be successful is brought to the table. The requirements are usually gathered from the business stakeholders who work with the architects, developers, and product management. The output for this step is, depending on the methodology used, if agile, tasks may be produced in the form of a backlog. If using waterfall methodology, a document should be generated that lists all the agreed upon requirements. Step three is design. The design stage is where you can get the first two visuals of the application being brought to life. Software architects and developers start to discuss how the application will be developed in this space. Topics that should be discussed include platforms, what browsers or operating systems would application be compatible with, security, are passwords or sensitive information being accessed in this application, what will be enforced encryption, user interface, how will the customer view the application, how will the application then handle user input, architecture, what programming languages will be used to develop this application. Often, a prototype of the application is created at this stage. It will show the high level look and feel of the application. The importance of prototyping is that the stakeholder can view that prototype and suggest changes before the development phase. It is much easier to change a prototype now instead of the application when it's further down the development cycle. The output of this phase is agreed upon high level concepts and prototype. Step four, software development. The software development stage is where the coding can finally start. Depending on the methodology used, this phase is either done in sprints, if agile, or on one big block with waterfall methodology. The goal of this step is to turn the project requirements and prototypes discussed in earlier phases into actual working code. The output for this step is a working product. Step five, software testing. The software testing stage is where we have to make sure to develop code meets the requirements created in requirement analysis, that it works functionally, and that it covers edge cases. Some businesses do manual testing, some do automation testing, while the rest implement a hybrid of both. The redundant tasks should be high candidates for automation, and list of tests should also be added for regression testing suite that should be run every time the code is changed for the application. Some examples of testing that should be done include unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, performance testing, and security testing. The output for this phase is possible bugs and defects being found. Possible bugs and defects found in testing should be noted. The bugs should be examined to see if they are high priority and need to be fixed right now by the developers or if it can wait after the application is deployed and fixed later down the road. Step six, deployment. The deployment stage is when the application can finally go live and is made available to end users. The deployment process should be fully automated it is also helpful if documentation is provided to the possible end user as well as other parties of interest regarding the changes that are made with the release of this application. It is also best practice to run smoke tests, which are simple high-level tests to make sure the application is working in a product environment. The output for this phase is a finished application. Now the final step is operations and maintenance. Now that the application is live and at the disposal of the end user, it is important to maintain it. Watch out for possible bugs and defects reported by the end users. This often happens with edge cases, 
which are extreme uncommon situations that were not accounted for during the testing process. Once a bug or defect is found, it should be prioritized and then cycle back through the software development lifecycle process or an abbreviated version of it. The output of this final phase is possible new software development cycles because of found bugs or defects. If you made it this far, I appreciate the support. If you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have ideas for future videos you want me to cover, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and have a good day.